In this video, we uh, will learn how to declare a pointer to a struct. So if we sum up what we've already know about structs, you will uh, realize that we have learned um, everything that we know about variables and arrays, but we didn't talk about pointers to structs yet. So mm, you see there's some kind of system inside of here and uh, this th that's why we are going to learn um, the yeah, specials about pointer to structs. And in this video, we uh, will also learn um, the two functions malloc and free um, for, <coughs> um, yeah, this is for allocating memory and this is for freeing up the memory. So uh, the names are always very intuitive. And um, yeah, we will see that there are some specials in pointers to structs and uh, this is not only uh, uh, to structs, but also to uh, variables or arrays. But we will, in this case, we will just talk about the structs here. Okay, mm, this is a very important video again. So um, yeah, make sure you understand it quite well and uh, you can make use of the things you've learned in this video. Okay, so first of all, um, I will declare a new struct and this is about a flight and uh, a flight has a flight number and a flight is from an airline. So that airline has a name. A flight is always from one airport to another. And uh, that's all for uh, this example. So, um, okay, uh, what do we already know? We know that we can uh, declare a variable f1 uh, for that flight and we can initialize this variable with a value. And uh, the first thing is we need to provide a number, then the airline, then we say um, the from uh, the from character. And then we say the destination. Okay, so mm, now, okay, easy enough. We can uh, declare a, a pointer and we can say, okay, please point to the address of my first flight. And that's working perfectly fine. So now we want to print out the values. We have a flight number. We have a airline and a departure and arrival airport from two. Okay, so this is our first flight. Let just let me make this small. We have a first flight and this flight has a number and this flight is from an airline, airline, this flight is from and goes to. Okay. Mm. So um, there's uh, quite a difference when using pointers to a structure. Um, because we are not using the uh, dodge now to access the members, but we are using an arrow. So um, first we will try this example, if it's working. And um, after that, okay, we see it's working perfectly fine. Uh, I will sum up these uh, dereferencing uh, symbols here for you. So try to remember when we had a pointer to a variable, we had to dereference that 
um, pointer when we want to when we wanted to access the value we had to make a little star in front of here um, and uh, when we were talking about character arrays uh, the pointer was actually behaving like the array itself so we didn't have to uh, provide any dereferencing symbol and when we have a pointer to a struct we need to use the arrow so we have three different kinds of uh, dereferencing Mm, uh, pointers here. Keep that in mind that you already know these uh, three different ways of uh, dereferencing a pointer. Okay, so you see the first uh, special T about uh, pointers to uh, a struct is uh, that we have a different uh, kind of accessing the struct member. Okay, and now we want to learn some other special thing about pointers which is but not uh, really just about uh, struct pointers um, first of all let me make this thing here clear this is for str copy or strn copy and this is for malloc and free okay uh, so we need the std lib is important and the string uh, header files okay so um flight now let's say we have a flight pointer and we don't want to uh, declare a non-pointer variable first but we want to declare um, a pointer straight away so what we are going to do is we will uh allocate the memory by ourselves, so we will use malloc and now we have to tell malloc how much memory we are going to need and this is by using size of you maybe already guessed it and we provide the uh, uh, data type here um, maybe you are already a little bit more advanced and you know that this is not the perfect way to do it but um, we will keep it simple in this video. So uh, in the next videos, in the, in the upcoming videos, we will learn about another way to do this, but now we will stick to that. Um, okay. And now we have uh, our memory, all the memory that we need for this um, struct, for this data type, and we, made a reservation for, for this memory to this uh, name for this variable for this pointer and now we can um, access the members of our struct and we can um, provide some values to them so oh now i have to use str and copy or str copy that's totally up to you uh, and I maybe Norwegian and this had 20 characters this had 50 and this flight is going from Hamburg to Madrid okay so from and to so as you can see, uh, we can assign the values just like we can read the values. Um, and here is uh, one thing to keep in mind. Whenever you allocate, allocate memory by yourself, you also have to set it free by yourself. If you don't do this, you may run into some problems with your program. Um, and these kind of problems are very difficult to debug. So, because that problems may occur in um, a very, very different time of the program. Imagine you are always allocating memory and allocate memory, memory and more memory. And there will be a time, of course, in, uh, with, your, with your regular computer, it will take a while until you reach that uh, point where your computer runs out of memory. But um, 
C is also used for embedded systems and you maybe have just some uh, kilobytes uh, for free space um, for variables or something and uh, you will reach that limit of course quite fast. So keep in mind that you should always free this uh, memory when you don't need it anymore and uh, you can do this by using the free uh, function and the parameter is of course that function you are not going to need anymore. After you free up the memory for this pointer, do not dereference it anymore. If you do this, you are running into some serious problems. Um, the least that can happen is that your program crashes, but there can also uh, be some more serious threats to your computer. Keep that in mind. Okay. Um, we are compiling that program one more time and uh, executing it and we will see, okay, this is running just fine. We allocate uh, the memory by ourselves, and we also set it free. And in between these uh, lines, we can work with our pointer. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope um, uh, you could understand all uh, the important things in this video and uh, yeah this was any helpful to you okay uh, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video bye